Morning YouTube. I just thought I would do a video on different types of silver rounds that I own and the di different types of silver rounds that you could go buy. Uh, they vary quite significantly and they also vary in price too. So I was going to start out with the proof walking liberty that I have. I have a couple of these. They're extremely beautiful but they're also quite a bit more expensive. Um, these have roughly a $20 premium on average over spot price. So I don't tend to buy very many of these. In fact, I'm planning on probably getting rid of the few that I have just because I could buy more silver with that money that I get from them. Uh, this one would average probably around $50 right now on eBay. And that's almost... Uh, two ounces of just uh, regular bullion. Another type of silver uh, proof round that I have, one ounce round, are the Indian heads. Now I did not pay a premium for these, but I consider these a proof. There's no difference between this and the Walking Liberty. These were around for a couple of years. I don't know if you can still get these, but they're gorgeous. I have a few of those that I got it regular spot price then these are the normal American Eagle walking liberties and this came in this uh, little blister pack with a little information with it these normally have a little bit of premium any of the American Eagles uh, will, will cost a little bit more than just a standard piece of one ounce bullion uh, usually just a couple dollars over you know the standard spot price they're not too bad I will buy American Eagles from time to time here's another one came just like that didn't have anything with it I got it at a flea market for like twenty dollars so uh, some of the first bullion that I bought was Canadian Maple Leafs I got ten of these at one time, I think I paid $200 total for all 10 of them. And uh, they come each in a little blister pack like this with a Canadian seal on it. And I just leave them in that. They're a beautiful coin. Again, I did not pay anything over spot value on those. Those were right at spot. Other ones that you can get at spot are the Morgan which I have a couple Morgans and these are just regular bullion that I find this one was from Desert Shield it was a submarine you can see there's the guy with the shield that's Desert Shield they put out uh, different coins to signify different parts of our history I thought this was neat so I got that and this is probably the oldest piece of bullion that I have this is from Mexico it is a one ounce uh, round. I think it says it's from 1949. Right here where my thumb is. It says 1949. So this, is, this piece has been around quite a long time. And probably was in Mexico used to buy different goods. You know. So. I don't currently own any bars other than my 10 ounce bar that you've seen in my other video. Um, I tend to go towards the rounds. I don't know why. I'm just more attracted to rounds. I like how they stack together and the sound of them and stuff. So I just thought I'd tell you the little bit different, uh, different types of bullion that you can get. Obviously, you know, again, the proofs are more expensive all the way down to this end of the spectrum where these will be right at spot value. Sometimes if you get lucky you get them under spot. If you get really lucky, I've had that happen too. So you get in there on a day where the market's moving real quick, you can get stuff cheaper than you know what what it'll end up at the end of the day. It'll actually become more <laughs> worth more in your pocket that day than you know than when you bought it. So it's kind of fun sometimes. And I don't see these very often, but 
thought they were neat. So there you go. There's a little bit of my silver collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.